Hello, this is another series. So, apart from my American Truck series, I also mentioned, don't know if I mentioned it in the video that wasn't deleted, that I will be starting a new series, and it's BeamNG Script AI. So, I'll just be making a bunch of Script AI things in BeamNG, and uh, I'll be going through them all. Obviously, I'll do the cool camera perspectives and stuff, and say, like, my verdict on who died and stuff and give some uh, context that I made up, but uh, I'm going to go through the whole process. So uh, let me just show you the crash I'm thinking of right now. So it's a crossroad crash, so like, let me just roughly draw out crossroads. Something like this. Let me just make this two lane. And this. In case of something like this. And so there's two trucks here. Right here. Two trucks. And then there's that's the truck. Then there's a car over here, and that's our main car, and then there's another car here, which is more of just a spectator car. And then there's two cars that come quite fast over here, and you might see where this is going. So we have this car oh, no I don't want to draw a square I want to go back to the yeah there we go so why is it so thin anyway it's fine this guy is going over here but they didn't see these cars because of the truck so this car is speeding through and then there is a huge collision over here right so let's set about doing that in the MNG drive I've already found a great area for this, and this is the crossroads on the west coast, and I believe it's near the Redwood Forest, or possibly the highway. I think I'll go with the Redwood Forest. Let me just find it quickly uh, on here. Anyway, uh, I'll explain what we're doing, and I'll offer... I won't offer full tutorial style, but I will do, I'll, I'll walk through the whole process. So, um, hopefully it'll work out and we'll get some cool crashes in the end. This is a nice car. Really low to the ground though. Okay, please load, please load. It's not res oh, it is responding, it's responding. My PC isn't the best. I mean, it's not bad, it's just a couple years old. Ah, there it is. So my crossroads that I'm looking for, they are somewhere around here. Might be these ones. Yeah, I think it's these ones. So uh, let's just drive this guy over here and then we can think about spawning everything. It doesn't really matter if we're getting damaged, we won't use this car. So there's in total... Um, so in the actual crash we only need three vehicles which are the two that are speeding from the top right and then the one that crashes into them. The one behind the one that crashes into them is just a, like a spectator. And then the trucks just make it make more sense so it's more realistic. So, um, I'm pretty sure this is the one I wanted. Yeah, it is, it is. Alright, beautiful. Okay, let me just remove this from the map because it's going to be annoying. 
cool. Okay, so before we start on script AI things, we need to spawn the car. So for the car that is going to, you, you know, be making the the blunder, I suppose, uh, it, it shouldn't be too big because it's supposed to be like completely smashed. So I'm thinking a Sharia. Um, obviously not like a fancy model. But maybe quite a nice car. Uh, don't really mind what colour we have it in. We can have it in this colour. Okay, cool. And then the car behind it, it really doesn't matter. I guess we can have a Brackle Moonwalk. Uh, no, you know what, actually? I don't really need that one. That one's actually probably the most useless one. Now let's make the two other cars involved in the crash. The lorries, I mean the trucks, they're not really involved. In fact, I don't even think we're going to have to record script AI paths for them. But uh, we can have a taxi, I suppose. Uh, what colour do we want it? How about a green taxi? That's quite uh, fun. You're going to load in? Yeah, okay. Looks fine. And then the vehicle behind it is not a spectator vehicle, but is also going to be involved in the crashes. Uh, Hiroshi Sunburst. It's a bit of a race car, but I suppose if we go with one of the more basic models, we should be fine. And uh, make it not too uh, bad. Um, okay, let's go with a submarine blue one. Okay, so now we drive, no, yeah, okay, we can drive this one, we can drive this one back to here so that we can spawn the truck, cool, so we should spawn two trucks, because um, I've tried similar truck crash before and with one, you can clearly see the other ones coming behind you, so it's not really realistic. Um, with this, it will be realistic. Let's have this one, I guess. This long haul special uh, in chestnut, sure. And uh, I don't think I want to add, yeah, actually, no, I don't want this one. I don't want to add trailers, because that will drag the video on for too long. And since, I mean, if, if the trailers were actually part of the crash, then I'd probably try and incorporate them. But, I mean, this is just making the crash make more, like, actual sense. So I don't think it's completely necessary. So, uh, for the sake of time, I'm just going to not incorporate those. Let me find a good truck. Um, yeah, okay, Tasty Cola. Uh, oh, okay, I accidentally... Right, right, right. And now let's replace this one with another truck. Game's slowing down a bit. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. And um, let's go with. No, not that one. Not another tasty cola. Don't think that one looks too good. Uh, yeah, actually, that one. Could no 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 I don't think that one's the right one. Yeah, this one. Herman high quality foods. Oh, I press spawn new again. For God's sake. Uh okay. Uh let me just let me just quickly delete this one. Oh, 
Oh no, sorry, let me meet the other one. Yeah, the other one. This is the one I want to delete. And you bye bye. Oh wait, that didn't work. Yeah, bye bye. Okay. Nice. Now let's make a start on positioning them. So this guy's already in a pretty convenient uh, position where I want him to be. Don't really want to adjust much. You should go right behind this guy, Tasty Cola guy. Cool, great. Uh, that was not a good sound. I don't know why that happened. But yeah, these will pretty much remain stationary. Now let's move this one and the uh, blue... Where the heck did the blue one go? One second. Oh, I think I might have deleted the blue one as well as the other one, which is why the, the truck didn't disappear the first time I deleted. Okay, no worries. And also, that one was actually a bit fast for my liking. So it would have been looked really awkward when it was, um, you know, looked really awkward when it was following this taxi behind. So let me just get this taxi behind the traffic light. Cool. Uh, now let me find a new car to follow it behind. So something that's around the same speed and not too bulky. Uh, what what cars do I like? So obviously not a supercar because that would uh, yeah that would not be great. Um, this one a, a Bishu Pasima. Uh, Abishu Pasimas, they're pretty good and a pretty average model. And yeah, around the same colour as the other one. I liked its colour, just not its model. I mean, I liked its model, just not for this specific uh, purpose of these crashes that I'm about to stage. Okay. Cool. Now this one guy has stopped. And now I want to get this guy a fair bit back as well. Oh my goodness. Oh uh, god. Uh, control R. Uh, Alright, let's get over here. Cool. Now, uh, time to get to the script AI stuff. So, we go to window, gameplay, script AI manager. Sick. So, uh, right now we have all our vehicles, so the blue buck is the uh, main car in the crash, the two trucks, uh, the Ibishu Pasima, and then the Vivus, and then all this stuff. So let's display the paths for now. Uh, I want to record this one first, so J to pause the game so that we don't lose any time. My goodness, I forgot to do a shift C. Obviously this one's about to take a turn. Um so 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 that that lines up with this. I'm not gonna make him go too fast. Slow down very briefly here and then make this turn and then continue going. Doesn't really matter. Okay, that's good. 
and I want to just stop the looping so that after the crash happens it doesn't restart because that would be pretty annoying so okay that's fine and right I don't think we need to see that path again stop all right cool now we get you so this is the blue buck so I want to record the blue buck oh wait no sorry shoot uh, I accidentally thought it was in a state of pause because the traffic lights were at yellow for a while but obviously not so when these go green immediately gonna start playing it I mean recording it okay cool okay not too fast but we need to be going at a decent speed when we're going right by the trucks and since we have the right of way we we could see the other car here uh oh god the light's red oh okay we just we just about okay because if we ran a red then that would be a bit uh um strange for our story Okay, now I want to change to this guy. And actually... As soon as the light goes green... Okay, as soon as... Okay, so now I'm going to play this one and then get this one to follow it at a reasonable pace so play this one and record this one come on buddy Okay, cool. Ah, I also want to put don't loop and neither should you. You shouldn't loop either. Okay, now let's play all and see how it goes. Mm, I want to switch to this guy for this. And then let's see how the timing is. The timing is almost never fully perfect on the first recording. Okay, yeah, so if we think about what we just saw, these guys went forwards before this guy was there, which means we need to give this guy a head start. So I say that when this guy reaches, uh, I don't know, say 15%, we restart the other two. So we're going to pause and restart the other two when the player Vivus reaches 15%. Ah, and, uh, sorry, I, okay, I paused at the right time, so let's restart these two. But I forgot to mention, I keep my uh, script AI manager kind of bar. Here it is. I keep it uh, away so that it doesn't block my screen too much. I keep it on my other monitor. Uh, but hopefully I've narrated. I'll, I'll drag it on every once in a while to show you a, a process I'm doing that I think you might need to see to understand. Okay, I'm hoping that wasn't too late, or too early for that matter. Okay, it looks like they will hit. But yeah, okay, that was uh, still... Okay, wait, so this guy actually went in front, so that was too late. So I think I'm going to take it down to like... 13% I think that might work okay let me put it here for this so it's on pause J so now let's 
go and then let's pause it again when this guy reaches 13. Okay, he's reached 13, so now we restart these two. And now we see if we have a good impact with speed. Because they did impact, but they are all it was all quite civil, which is a bit boring. Mm. Oh, I see a problem here. Okay, yeah, I do see a problem here. So, uh, what what the problem is... So, even though I don't think the timing was perfect, the problem is that these two guys, right, they're going, like, directly forward. And this guy, if you see his turning curve, he's supposed to be hit around here. But these guys' paths, they don't even go here. So, what I'm going to think I'm going to have to do is modify it so that this guy's path goes like straight ahead so it's a more basic intersection crash or I could make it that this guy kind of tries to turn this way but so he stops right here like just briefly yeah I think I'll do that because it's more faithful to my situation so play all stop all so that nothing's going on and I'm just gonna record this guy re-record him okay so not too fast not too slow and for goodness sake we've crashed well how wonderfully realistic that is let's re-record Okay, let's just not go too fast. Okay. Driving a bit recklessly. And then he pokes his head out here. And then he does that. Okay. Now let's see how that works out. Because he's going at a different speed this time. So it might line up better or worse. I felt we went a tiny bit slower this time around. It might just be me. Oh, that that was actually good. That was actually really good. And I didn't have to restart any replays. Uh, have I put in... Okay, yeah, I've... I've put off the loop setting. Okay, great. That was actually really good. Let me just view it from a more detailed perspective. Uh, let me maybe put it in slow motion. But uh, I think that actually turned out really well. Bit reckless there. Okay, let's slow it down and see what's going on exactly here. So this guy's just here, and then he obviously gets smashed into. I think that's good. Um, actually, no. I want to be a bit of a perfectionist here. I think that that crash was way too kind of mid for me. I mean, look at this. Like, the damage isn't death damage. I think what I want is for... Because these cars aren't going that fast... I want when this guy goes and stops here, it's exactly when this car goes here, which is a much more precise crash than this one, because these guys have like five seconds to crash into this guy when he's braked here. I want this the, the impact to be the exact moment. So for that, uh, I think I need to give the other vehicles a head start of maybe 5%. Let's try that to make it a more precise crash.
So when you get to 5%, I'm going to restart you. Okay, I restarted our main vehicle here. And let's see if that makes a, a big difference. Okay, so that did basically work. It's just we need it to be lower. We need maybe 2%. When this guy's at 2%, we restart him. Because these guys missed him that time. So let's try 2%. 2%? Okay, we got to 3%, but I think it's fine. close okay I think 2% was better because I did I think I mentioned it was at uh, so let me make it a bit slower so that we get that perfect 2% okay I stopped him at 2% like right as it changed to 3% so let's see if that worked Obviously, the first crash we had would have been fine, but I want to be more specific about this, because I want to get, like, a bigger crash, so I can give cool verdicts. And, uh, yeah, just the tiniest bit too late. I want him to crash into, like, like the back end of this, which sends this guy spinning, and then this guy crashes into this guy. So it's all a bit insane. Yeah, I think we're just like that, like half a percent off. Let me just slow it down immensely. So, yeah, there we go. So that was like probably like 2.4% maybe? 2.4? Yeah, something like that. That was pretty good. But I think we're a bit late. So I think I want to try for like that like. Okay, so let me process what happened. So this guy kind of crashed. And, so that meant we were a bit late. No, we were a bit early. So we need to go for like 2.6%. This is getting really specific now. Yeah, there we go. Like that area of two. Okay, let's see if that works. Hopefully that will work. Um... So you just want to get this guy to crash into your butt, please let him crash into your butt. Oh, that was so close to perfect. Literally like mmm. Just okay, just try like that, basically that exact thing. No, okay, too late. Okay. I tried it really quick, like, I did it in full speed to see if I could just, like, get it, like, less accurate and luckily hit the jackpot. Just that one second. Oh, yes, that was exactly what I was looking for. Okay, so this isn't too bad of a crash. By bad, I mean, like kill people but now that we know it's gonna work let uh, me turn off display paths and now let me turn off world view go shift c and now let's look at it from some cool perspective
Let me look at it from the top of a traffic light, maybe. That would probably give it some, let me just give it some texture. Ooh, that missed that other car. I guess it's fine though. So these guys both got pretty heavily damaged. Ooh, I have an idea actually. Uh, let's just go play... I want to see if I can add a crash hard dummy in here. Oh, I can? Sick. Uh, let's see if I can add one here. Alright, amazing. Uh, I don't really care about adding some in the truck. Uh, I would want one here, though. Right, amazing. Cool. Now that's just giving it its uh, like an extra layer of like deep, I guess. Uh, shift C. Let's go to U. Let's. Okay, I think that was good timing. Not in full speed right now. But uh, actually, I think it would be a pretty good idea to go into the perspective of this guy. Because I have a driver at its wheels. Okay, and you're just going this way. Okay, okay. I'm pressing the horn. This guy's braking, and I hit right on the front. Now this car's caught up in it as well. So obviously this isn't, I mean, a terrible crash. Like, it, it, it's not the type of crash that would kill somebody. But uh, I'm going to give my verdict. So I think this guy probably got, like, minor slash serious injury. Like, maybe, like, a broken leg or something. Uh, this guy, same thing. Broken arm, let's say. And then this taxi driver, he, I'm going to say he also got something more minor, like a broken leg. This doesn't seem like a high risk accident. Like I'd maybe may give it maybe like a 4 out of 10 in terms of seriousness. Anyway, that was a pretty like highly detailed tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. So uh, thanks for watching and more crashes tomorrow.